Hi guys, this video, I think I need your help really to explain this 20% thing to me because it's, I don't, if I'm honest, I don't understand it. Um, I cannot, first of all, I, I cannot see why anybody would bid for Blackpool Football Club and pay millions for it to end up with Owen Oyston as a 20% shareholder of the company of Blackpool FC. It makes no sense to me. Anybody must know that if Owen Oyston or any Oyston is still involved in Blackpool FC, even a 20% shareholder, they're not a penny more. We'll carry on. People are not going to go back to the games. And this is... Uh, so buying, it's pointless. It's... Uh, Putting money into Blackpool Football Club and having Owen Oyston as a 20% shareholder, you might as well just chuck your money in the Irish Sea. I've posted that on View from the Town this morning. You might as well forget it because you're not going to. It's just, it's a disaster. I mean, it's an absolute disaster. And I can't understand, I can't see Andy Pilly buying into Blackpool Football Club knowing that Owen Oyston is going to be a 20% shareholder because even Andy Pilly, uh, Andy Pilly must know if he does that, he might as well. You might as well throw his money away. I mean, there's a couple of rumours. These are all ifs, buts and maybes. But a lot of people have been saying that there is in 2022, when the Sky deal with uh, the Premier League ends, that um, Amazon are looking at buying in. I don't know whether that's true or not, but the talk people are talking about Amazon can put in 500 million a year to every, to every club in the Premier League. Now, if, say, for instance, Andy Pilly got Blackpool up and by 2023... We got ourselves back in the Premier Premier League. It may never happen, but just let's imagine it did. If I was Andy Pilly and I got into the Premier League and I got five hundred million pounds for the season, there's no way on this earth I would spend that five hundred million pounds on players and wages. I would I would even get players from non league to come and play in my team in the Premier League, so I didn't pay anything. So I got all that five hundred million. I want as much of that five hundred million as I could putting in. Blackpool FC's war chest for the next time I go back. So I'd be taking as much out of it as I possibly could. I would probably spend no more than 50 million tops if I went in the Premier League because I think it's, 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 it's insanity what they do. I, I just think it's, it's, it's just crazy. So I think any sensible owner would, would take most of that 500 million as a massive profit. And if if we did say if there was a profit of three hundred three hundred million after tax out of the Premier League season, and Owen Oyston was a twenty percent shareholder, he gets sixty million quid. I, that is just abhorrent to me, and uh, I would imagine that the uh, court-appointed receiver must be well aware of well aware of the fact that we're not going back. If there's an Oyston involved again, thinking about how much they're going to buy. These are just hypothetical figures that I'm just plucking out of the air. But let's just say, for instance, that Owen Oyston still owes 20 million, around about 25 million pounds. He's paid so much so far. So he owes Bellicon 25 million pounds. There's no way on this heaven and earth that the Blackpool Football Club is going to get sold for. I'd be amazed if he gets sold for 10 million, to be honest. I mean, I, I don't think it's worth 10 million, really. I, I don't think so. I'm not. With the players, the ground and the state it is, the training grounds. Is it worth ten million in the in, in league in league one? Ten million pounds. So if they did buy it for ten million pounds, that won't clear off the debt that Owen Oyston owns Bellicon. So surely when you pay ten million for it, you would get Bellicon shares as well because they'd have to use as much of the uh, of the money to pay Bellicon. I mean, obviously, if somebody bought it for forty million, then there'd be some profit, and Owen Oyston could keep it. Maybe somebody can explain that to me as well because I, I don't I don't get that that either. That doesn't make any sense to me. Surely, if you're buying the football club, you're not going to clear Owen Oyston's debt. So all the money, even Owen Oyston's twenty percent of Valerie Bella, you know, even if he gets those twenty percent shares back, they surely got to go out to pay the debt to Valerie Bellicon. So, in effect, surely that's got to be 100% of the club, or what, 97%. Post your comments down down below. It's um, it's bugging me, to be honest. It, it really is bugging me. Um, so, I, I'm, I keep reading it. I, I'm not 100% sure I understand it, and maybe somebody out there will understand it better than me. I know there's been loads of threads on, on, on A View from the Tower with the box of toys and all that. I, I, I read that, and to be honest with you, I, it, still doesn't make it crystal clear to me so if you've got some thoughts on it post it in the comments below uh, till the next video see you later